now that I made the master branch and the development branch, I can go to my GitHub, which is github.com slash my username slash the name of the repository I made. This is the page on GitHub. And if you go here, you see that you have the master branch and the development branch. If you check the master branch, you see that you don't have that model folder or the files you created. And if you switch to the development branch, you see that if you go inside this folder, you have the model and the file that you created under this. So <clears throat> now, if you want to um, merge the changes from this development branch into the master branch, uh, you can create something that is called a pull request. That means from this branch, you request to the master branch that, and you say that I made these changes and uh, I think the changes are good. So please pull these changes from my branch into the master branch. And this only happens when you're sure, completely sure that all the changes are fine. Uh, and if you're sure about that, uh, you can either come to your branch here, the development branch, and you have a button compare and pull request, or you can, uh, you see how many commits this branch is ahead of master. That means the changes you made to this branch and you go there and you can see the changes. And again, here you also have the option to create pull requests, but whenever you want to create a pull request, make sure that the comparison is right. So here in this case, we only have two branches. In reality, you might have like 10 different branches. And uh, in, in our case, I want to compare master and development. And I want to uh, push the changes from development to master, meaning that I want to create a pull request that master pulls the changes from development. Uh, so the comparison looks good here. So I can go ahead and create a pull request. And here uh, I can write some comments here and explain what happened here. Uh, I created the model folder, uh, which is required. Uh, I also added um, the customer class. So I can go ahead and create this pull request. And this pull request will go under these pull requests tab. And um, it shows up here. This is a pull request tab, right? And if I go here, it shows up here. So another member in the group needs to review these changes and uh, merge the pull request if they're fine with it. They can also go to this files changed part and see what happened. And if they're not satisfied with the changes, they can go to review changes and write a comment and saying that, for example, um, the customer class is empty. We need to add a few properties, let's say, and then they can, they can comment um, here. And then the other person, can go back and make some changes and then commit the changes and push the changes again. And uh, the changes will appear here. And if it's satisfactory, uh, then we can approve. So in this case, I cannot approve because uh, I cannot approve my own pull request. Another team member can approve the pull request. But let's say the comment is here. And uh, if you go to the pull request tab, you see the comments here as well. So there could be a complete conversation under this pull request. And when everything looks good, then you can merge the pull request and that goes to the master branch. You don't want to uh, pull everything to master branch before you're sure everything looks fine.